of what to do next, it was not obvious at all. Many people were strongly suggesting that the next car should be all electric. And that would have been the easiest thing, but making a Bugatti is not about making the easy thing. It's about the hard way, doing the right things. We felt the emotion and power delivery and sound of a naturally aspirated 16-cylinder engine was the right next step for Bugatti. A naturally aspirated engine is a little bit of a romantic idea, but it lacks the raw power and torque of a modern turbocharged engine like the W16. So by combining the advantages of a naturally aspirated combustion engine and a very powerful electric powertrain, the two hearts of this beast kind of support each other. That package is, I think, ideal. The Bugatti is not just about technical facts or just about numbers. It's about the whole package. It's about perfection, design, quality, craftsmanship. And that was an essential part of this project. For me, it was super important that this is a piece of art. So how do you go about designing the successor to the Chiron? It's the aspect of timelessness that is key to us. To be timeless, a car needs to be authentic. It needs to tell a story. So the story of the tourbillon is the interplay between speed and elegance. In a way, you could say it's shaped by speed. We draw inspiration from many things. For instance, Jean Bugatti created a concept that he called sur baiser. He reduced the frontal area on his cars. There is no aerodynamic factor other than frontal area that has a greater influence on the speed of a vehicle. In front view, the tourbillon seems much wider than any car we did before, just because it is so much lower. This is about proportions. Before we even speak about any design theme or color or line, the proportions have got to be just right. The tourbillon is a distillation of Bugatti's DNA. The accentuated center line inspired by the Atlantic, the new wide proportion horseshoe grille, and the Bugatti line on the side, which is also the physical parting line between the two colors on the two-tone paint scheme. Once you open the door, the interior design is a complete revolution. It is where digital detox meets the art of watchmaking, the haute lingerie. So we have chosen to do the entire human-machine interfacing about displaying information and operating the car in an analog fashion. The center console is machined from solid aluminium set within real crystal glass. The tourbillon is a timeless design that is not made for the future, but for eternity. As an engineer, the most important thing to me is the car is not only beautiful from the outside, but also from the inside. We ensured that every technical component underneath the body was equally beautiful as the exterior, which combines an high revving up to 9,000 RPM, V16 of 1,000 PS, with an 800 PS electric drivetrain, which embodies the latest and cutting-edge technologies in electrification. Thanks to this perfect combination, you really get an extremely quick response on the throttle that the driver requires. Luxury and comfort is not compromised, even at top speed. Over 20 years of modern hypersports cars experience, Bugatti is looking into the future and at the same time bowing to his rich history with the tourbillon. What began with the Veyron and continued with the Chiron has evolved further by combining all our knowledge to redefine the pinnacle of the automotive industry. The result is the Tourbillon. The Tourbillon is revolutionary, authentic and timeless. It is unmistakably Bugatti and in a class of its own. <laughs>